Max Holloway is in an interesting spot to say the least. I mean, the guy is practically the second best featherweight in the division. He outclassed fighters like TKZ, Arnold Allen, and Cater. Yet, in the same time, he is 0-3 against the UFC featherweight GO slash champion Alex Volkanovski. And it makes it extremely hard for the UFC to book a fourth fight together. Even Dana White doesn't want to see it. I think that, I think that Volkanovski is so dominant right now. I mean, there's people who believe he beat, uh, you know, Islam. You know, I, I don't know if you throw Max at him again at this point in Max's career. And to be fair, even if the UFC gave Max Holloway another opportunity against Alex, the result wouldn't change. Alex is the better boxer than Max. And even though Max will never admit it to the people, there was a reason why Max took so much time off. Obviously, one reason was to heal up and recover, but I bet you getting school like that really demoralized Max Holloway. That's why I believe he took a long hiatus. And it's even more crazy to think that Max would still be the UFC featherweight champion if Alex Volkanovski didn't exist. I mean, Max's only loss in the featherweight division are due to Alex. Besides that, he hasn't really came close to losing in his weight class since 2013 to Conor freaking McGregor. It just shows you how good Max is and shows you how great Alex is. There's just a huge level gap. That being said, I think Max can continue dominating the featherweight division, but I don't think he wants to keep doing that if the end result isn't the UFC featherweight championship. I mean, Max could just always wait a couple years until Alex retires. I mean, Alex is 34 and Max is 31. And if Max can wait three to four years, I'm pretty sure Alex will call it a day at the age of 37 or 38, which is old for a featherweight. Or Alex could win the lightweight belt sometime next year and maybe Max can face another contender for the vacated belt. But who knows if Max wants to do that? Maybe he wants to make more of an impact and go to the lightweight division since he's been teasing a run for years now. And I know what people are going to say. Max tried that a couple years ago with Dustin Poirier and he was just too small to do anything in that fight. He wouldn't do good in lightweight. Yes, that's partially right. However, Max never bulked up properly. And if he actually focused on gaining the weight at lightweight, he would be a lot of guy. As history has shown, a lot of featherweights usually do well in lightweight. I mean, look at Charles Oliveira, Alex Volkanovski, Grant Dawson, Gamrot, Dustin Poirier. These are all prime examples of featherweights transitioning to lightweight and doing great. I don't know why majority of the MMA community counts out Max like this. I noticed that a lot of people believe that he would get squashed, but that isn't the case. I think Max does really well. Do I think he can be a champion in that weight class? Well, that's a little bit far-fetched in my opinion, but anything's possible. So Max does have a few options to take, and personally, I would love to see him go to the lightweight division, especially since there are a shitload of new fun matchups in the lightweight division, like Justin Gagey, Fazeev, Charles Oliveira, maybe a third fight with Dustin. I personally think it's the best move, but hey, maybe Max is just waiting to see if Alex is going to go back to 155 and win that belt, because he probably knows that if Alex goes to lightweight and beats Islam for the belt, Max would probably never get another opportunity for the belt for obvious reasons. So that's why Max is kind of in a weird spot right now in his UFC career. I personally think he'll fight a few more times in the featherweight division. And I think Max is just going to be patient and wait to see if Alex can go up and successfully capture the lightweight title. Or he's hoping that Alex loses the strap against Taporia sometime early next year. But I guess time will tell. But anyways, guys, that's my thoughts on the Max Holloway situation. Do you guys agree with me or do you guys disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next one.